Hey Vikes, welcome back to another episode of ETV. Today, Ben and Parker give us an epic studio tour. We learn about a Triton student with a special talent and we hear from you about what your favorite fall activities are. But first, have you ever wondered why strangers are allowed to walk their dogs through your PE class? Alexis asked Officer Lucy what the deal is. Triton has an open campus policy for the public, but some believe that the policy is putting our students and teachers in danger. Hey, I'm Officer John Lucy with the Newberry Police Department. I'm the school resource officer here at Triton. The issue is that the school grounds are a public area, so um, it, they are open to the public, and in order to change that, you would have to have it posted somewhere that there's no trespassing. So we've, um, it's come up at our school safety meeting, so we meet on a monthly basis with police, fire, and administrators, and custodians. Um, I can understand that there could be, a, there, there might be a safety concern there where, you know, basically we don't know who these people are that are walking um, through the campus, especially because we have a pretty open campus. We have people crossing to go to the outbuilding, we have people um, attending gym classes outside. So. It can be concerning that, you know, we basically are open to other people that aren't being vetted, aren't being checked, and they're just walking through our campus. So it's definitely something we've um, brought up at meetings and we're gonna continue to look at how to fix that. I think it's a little creepy that people can just come onto the campus during school hours. I do not feel like people should be walking on campus during the school day, within school hours, if they are not invited. I know that a part of the stadium contract was to allow community members to walk and use the facilities so if they come before school and they come after school there's plenty of time to do so but while school is on we need to keep our kids safe so i'm really not sure what the best thing to do would be you don't want to make it um, a closed campus or inhospitable but you also want to make sure everybody's safe so i don't really have a good answer unfortunately According to Officer Lucy, the open campus policy is currently being reviewed. It remains to be seen if any changes will be made. For VTV, I'm Alexis. Hey Nolan, do you know anyone who makes a sick beat? I don't know, but I'm ready to eat. Hold on, what about Demetrius? He doesn't go here anymore, but his understudy, Ben, could be the next SoundCloud master. Check out this vlog of his recent trip to a studio in Boston. It's fire. Oh, it's crazy. All what right. you doing? I'm booking the crazy. session. Yo. Stereo. Stereo. JBL all custom. All custom. Next. Fuzzy Die. We got the Fuzzy Die. 2012. Picked them up. Oh, God. We got the JBL Charger. <laughs> I don't know why it's in here. None of the electric ports work. We arrived. Yo. This is where we just, you know, we go to bed, wake up, make beats, go to sleep, wake up. On the, the vlog's on here because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial right here. How to make a beat for Dro Kenji. Bet. 808. Ooh, the 808's coming in. So. So you got, you got your melody. Melody. Fire. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Usually, 808 follows the kick. Not here, you know, it's gonna, gonna go eight bars overall. Adds more suspense. 
I got you. See, now we've, we're learning something new. Gonna get that little. Yeah. Like shuffling a deck of cards. Ah, that's such an. Nick, you're stupid. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Nobody's calling me right now. <laughs> this is how to get drunk Kenji placements. What do you rate this studio out of the other studios that you worked in? I forget what this one's called. It's I think it's Studio A, right? PS1. PS1, studio. okay. Uh, would I rate it? Yeah. For the price, it's good. Yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to spend... We would have had to spend like 400 350 Those are some sweet moves, Nolan. Thanks, I learned it from Clay. Clay who? Clay Erickson, he's a competitive virus step dancer. He taught me everything I know. Looks like you need a little more practice. Here's Julia with a story on Clay. Although it is not widely known, Triton students have some very unique hobbies. One of those students is Clay Erickson. Hi, I'm Clay Erickson and I'm an Irish step dancer. When I was seven, I got into Irish step dancing because I would do little moves that my sister did in the parking lot and she yelled at me and so I went to class the next day. When I found out that Clay Irish step dance, I reacted as like, I was surprised. And honestly, I could kind of see it because he does a lot of like kicks and jumps. I found out that Clay Irish step dances, I found that it was really cool because I've never met anybody else that Irish step dances and like being Irish, you know represents my culture. The most recent dance competition I've been to is called the Connecticut State Champions Fest. I placed third out of seven people. Some struggles I have faced, some injuries are, most of my toes have been broken because of Irish step dance. Although these injuries are painful, I, it's all worth it because I have a lot of fun opportunities opened up to me because of this. Never seen Clay perform, but sometimes here and there in cross country, he'll do like leaps and jumps, and it's interesting. I have never seen Clay Irish step dance in like a competition, but he has shown me a few ways of dance in the hallway. Here, here's an example. Thank you. Even though Clay is very passionate about dance, some people just don't understand and have been mean to him because he does Irish step. I share that I dance with most people I know, and sometimes people make fun of me and sometimes people don't. Doesn't really matter to me. I am pretty supportive of Clay's Irish step dancing because I find that it's a really cool hobby and people should do what they want. I'm supportive of Clay Irish step dancing because if he likes it, he likes it and maybe he can teach me some moves. So, as you walk the halls of Triton, you might be surprised at the hidden talents of some of your fellow classmates. For VTV, I'm Julia.
What's your favorite fall activities? Probably tripping. No, I meant like fall, like the season. Like seasoning? Like salt and pepper? You know what? Never mind. Julia asked you guys what your favorite fall activities are. And here's what you said. Hey Vikes, today we're going to be going around Triton and asking students and teachers what their favorite fall activity is. Let's go. What's your favorite fall activity? Definitely leaf peeping. We live in the most beautiful part of the country. Why not go out and enjoy the beautiful surroundings? In the fall, I like to go out on the motorcycle and just take a ride, look at the foliage. There's nobody down the beach for traffic. It's a nice easy ride. Carving pumpkins. Baking. I like to make food in the kitchen and say it's a fall activity, but really I'm just telling that to my mom because she knows I make a mess. I like to go shopping for fall clothes. <laughs> I also like Halloween. Well, I like to uh, tend to just like, you know, hopping around and carrots are really fresh in the fall. So I tend to just hop around and find gardens and steal them from people. Apple picking with my family. You go first. Uh, football. Yeah, yeah, football and apple picking probably. Uh, I think it would have to be hiking through the woods, different, yeah, so I live across the street from Maudsley, so I go there, or hike Mount Major, or something like that. Jumping in leaves. I like going for walks because the scenery, and it's like the perfect temperature outside. Um, I like carving pumpkins and then roasting <laughs> the seeds after. That's not weird. My favorite fall activity is pumpkin carving, and I also like handing out the candy on Halloween. When fall comes around, and I do like Halloween, um, but I really love Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead. Um, I'll always watch Coco, and I try to watch it in Spanish. And um, I love the decorations and the colors and the sentiment behind the holiday. So I'd say that's probably my favorite fall activity. My favorite fall activity, and I'm about to get aggressive, because usually people, sh on this, but this is the only time, this in winter, when you can like binge Harry Potter, like nonstop. And people don't really like Harry Potter. Cause yeah, I've met a handful of people that don't like Harry Potter and it's weird to me. But this is the only time and I love binging it. That's my favorite fall activity. I just love fall in general. I love fall. I love the weather, the food. Yeah. Pumpkin. My favorite fall activity is watching movies. Picking apples. Haunted houses. Um, carving pumpkins. Thank you so much for watching Vikes. From BTV, I'm Amelia. Yeah! <laughs> I love the scenes. Yeah, don't yeah. lie. I like the scenery of going on walks. <laughs> Cookie acquired. It's from our. Thanks for watching this episode of BTV. Nolan, always a pleasure spending time with you. You too, Ashley. We'll see, see you next, next week. week. Okay, I'm ready. Recording, everybody? Am I saying all of that? We also hear from you about what your favorite fall activities and we tackle the... Wait. You're dancing for one. I'm dancing. I don't know, but I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of ETV. Nolan, always a pleasure spending time with you. I enjoyed it too, Ashley. I want to keep going after the broadcast. Are you asking me out on live television? Of course. <laughs> I accept. See you all next week. <laughs>